nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I love you. <laughs> in, in what? No, no, that's not me. No, not only do I get that, that's okay. I will still talk to you. It's been a while since I've had that one. There's like three or four Brit actors of the same generation, and, for, and we all tend to get a little bit melded up. We're basically the same guy, it doesn't matter. If you're in casting, don't sweat it. You can't get one, you'll always get the other. Now, now, Mr. James Frain, you are you're on your you are your own man, and we want to talk about you tonight. I am my own man, God damn it! That's right. And <laughs> I would love to hear about your role in Tudors. Oh, in Tudors, uh, in Tudors, I played Thomas Cromwell, who was basically uh, started out as the bag carrier for the king, who you might know is played by Jonathan Rhys Meyers, and by the end of his uh, ruthless ascent to power, becomes the most powerful man in in the kingdom. That must have been fun. But yeah, it was a blast. <laughs> Absolute blast. So, what did you draw upon to bring out this power-hungry side of you? I drew upon my power-hungry side. But you seem so kind and genteel. It's all about seeming, isn't it? I guess um, so. It must be the accent. All of you British seem kind and genteel. Well, I, I don't know what I drew upon. I mean, I kind of, uh, you mean, I, I kind of, I mean, everyone has a side that is like dark, you know, and so there are different aspects to it, but that's not really hard to imagine. I'm fascinated with these guys. And he was kind of the Dick Cheney uh, meets Karl Rove of his time. So, you know, politically really gifted, but morally kind of dubious. Um, and I think those guys are really interesting because it's like, well, we already know about all their kind of capacity to manipulate, but we don't really know who they are. So, you know, trying to kind of get under the surface a bit uh, was, was really interesting. And, uh, about someone who, who we know very little a, a long time ago who was you know inc really impactful in history and I had no idea I mean if you like know your history you know who he is you know it's hard to make historical pieces feel relevant to modern audiences what yeah. do you hope that people who watch this film will take away this film here everybody's fine or, or the Tudors the Tudors your film uh, well well what we did is we did we had lots of sex and I think that makes everyone feel very comfortable. Um, because I think people in the past had a lot of sex, uh, just like we do now. So it, it, it sort of, it, 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 it made all the cloaks easier because they came off. Right. Well, I, I have to let you go, but one quick question about everybody's fine. What does it mean for you to be here tonight? Oh, it's a, it's a real, um, <laughs> I was gonna say it's a real honor, but it's like roll out the cliches. It's an <laughs> astonishing, um, no, I, I'm just so thrilled that I get to be here with this, this group of people who I work with very briefly but, ha but have a lot of respect for. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you.